Hello everybody, welcome to this episode of Modern Warfare Weapon Tactics. This is Wheezy, and in this video we're going to be covering the FAL, and specifically how you should be using map movement in order to optimize your ability to be successful with this weapon. When discussing map movement, we're going to cover four primary categories. The first is avoiding close corners, since the FAL is a high damage, semi-automatic, more long range weapon. We're going to talk about how to move around the map to avoid accidentally getting into close quarters engagements. The second category we're going to talk about is focusing on long sight lines. This is similar to the first one, but is more akin to an aggressive tactic and how you want to set up your engagements with this weapon to use its strengths and avoid its weaknesses. The third category is anticipating enemy locations or using aim down sights in order to mitigate the slow fire of this weapon and give you a better chance of being successful in potentially unexpected encounters. And the final category we're going to talk, on, talk about under map movement is defensive positions. And when using a weapon like the FAL, you will actually have significantly more success if you play it more slow like a sniper rifle would traditionally be played using cover and defensive positions. So we're going to cover all of these categories in this video and hopefully Putting this all together will help you be more successful with the FAL. Avoiding close corners means that because of the low fire rate and high damage of the FAL, what you don't want to do is end up in a fight where you're coming around a corner at close range and the person that you encounter has a high rate of fire weapon and you guys are nose to nose. What you want is a little bit more distance with the FAL so that you can hopefully have a longer engagement versus the strength of these close to medium quarters. So you can't always control how far of an engagement you're going to have as you're moving through the map, but as long as you focus on not rounding near the corners, but rather moving back and keeping that corner as wide as possible, a better chance at engaging from a longer distance to where you aren't as easily burst down by something like an M4 or a 141. This gives you a better opportunity to utilize the strengths of the weapon and avoid some of the weaknesses that it has available, especially if you're not using a secondary weapon to help compensate for the poor close quarters performance of the FAL. Focusing on long sight lines is a similar concept as avoiding close corners, but this is a more general engagement strategy where when you're not actively moving through the map and, and rounding corners, this is where you're trying to set yourself up to get engagements against the enemy. So for instance, instead of trying to move into a close capture location when you suspect there might be enemies there, leaving a longer distance so that you can engage them from a place of advantage for the FAL as opposed to moving in close where you're going to be at a disadvantage to a faster firing weapon. Long sight lines are in general a good tactic for any slow firing semi-automatic long range weapon like a sniper rifle. The FAL plays very similar to this in a way that it's actually kind of a balance between wanting to engage from something more akin to a sniper rifle distance but while being able to move through the map more aggressively and not being relegated to defending a single position. The higher recoil pattern of the FAL is another reason to try and use longer engagement distances because the closer you are to the to the enemy the more likely it is that you will ha will not have enough time to pull the shots back down onto target. One of the things that is a major weakness of the FAL is its high recoil pattern and extremely slow rate of fire. So these tactics again are built around trying to where you can't eliminate the weaknesses through loadouts or like as you'll see in this clip here carrying around a secondary weapon that can act as a close quarters engagement tool. Trying to at least put yourself in the best position to be successful given the limitations of the weapon. So the next thing we're going to keep in mind as we're moving through the map is anticipating enemy locations and using ADS to get the drop on your opponent. And the reason why this is important is because in general the FAL is a little bit slow to bring the sights up, especially depending on the attachments that you're using. And I would recommend, as we'll talk about in loadouts, that you focus your attachments on trying to reduce the overall recoil of the weapon because I think that's going to give you a more, uh, a better advantage than trying to speed up your ADS. So because of that, and because you're already trying to use longer lines of sight and avoiding close corners, what we're going to do is use a more deliberate ADS strategy to help us get the drop on our enemies. Because, again, 
their rate, rate of fire means that they are more easily able to kind of start hip firing and get damage on us before they're able to bring their sights up and finish off with more accurate fire. With the FAL, every shot counts. Your time to kill is already so slow. Your recoil is so high. You really need to be on target as soon as possible. So wh wherever possible, when you can anticipate, and you should always be trying to anticipate, where the enemy is going to be coming from, you want to go ahead and get in a position where you can start aiming down that line of sight and start engaging those enemies as soon as they appear. Because if you turn a corner or look to where the enemy is located and wait to bring your sights up until after you've seen them, then you've lost that much time in the engagement and it makes it that much harder to win that fight. Like I said, especially against people who aren't using an FAL or a sniper rifle. So this can be a very useful strategy where you're, again, trying to reduce the disadvantage you're at by using a weapon like the FAL. And the last topic we're going to cover under map movement is using defensive positions. And you'll, you'll notice there's a theme with all of these where they all kind of play into each other and that's an important distinction is because of the nature of the FAL you really do have to have a more deliberate, more measured, and more careful play style where you give yourself an advantage over people with more flexible weapons. And the reality is that these same play styles would actually suit more flexible weapons just as well, but without using them with the FAL, you will just pretty much get melted every time you come around a corner. So here you'll see that using a defensive position means using cover and not being afraid to play a little bit slower. We always want to make sure that we're moving to support the objectives, which can be something we can touch on in the game modes that we want to select. So it doesn't necessarily, being in a defensive position doesn't necessarily mean camping, or as I've talked about in videos way in the past, kind of a tactical mobile version of camping, right? Where you're moving from, if you will, camping position to camping position, rather using defensive positions to support the objective and to keep yourself from getting into an engagement that isn't going to suit the FAL very well. Here I'm using the burst fire attachment, so it's, uh, it's helping a little bit, but you'll notice that I'm also making sure that I'm in a defensive position from a standpoint that I'm not trying to be in a position where I'm facing enemies head on. They're not moving towards me. I am defending an area and I am looking for engagements where I have an advantage because of cover and people are moving away from me. So this concludes the map movement portion of the FAL tactics for Modern Warfare Weapon Tactics. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. If uh, you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and stick around the channel. I'm going to be putting together more videos like this, not just for the FAL, but for other weapons as well. So just a quick little recap for the map movement tactics that we covered in this video for the FAL. We are going to focus on avoiding close corners, focusing on long sight lines, anticipating enemy locations by aiming down the sights and using defensive positions to our advantage. The high damage, slow rate of fire, semi-automatic nature of the FAL does make it a lot more difficult to use than other weapons in the game in the assault rifle category, especially things like the M4 or the 141. So it's important to make sure that we're making deliberate choices and smart decisions as we're moving through the map. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for future episodes of Modern Warfare Weapon Tactics. And I'll talk to you guys later.